means, oh god, this fucking thing. Dude, are there paper towels or anything in here? Work. Okay. So that is next week, so. <laughs>
good guys we just wrapped up another training session we also wrapped up week two of prep for power surge eight that sets us at 12 weeks out from the meet the first workout of the prep we worked up to a single on squat at i believe it was 325 kilos 716 pounds today was our third squat and bench day. Before we talk about it, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, leave any questions you have for me in the comments section below. As always, if you guys need help with your training, don't forget to check out Proven Strength app. Link for that is in the description below. Just add three new programs to the site, including the prep for power search as well as the off season. So if you guys want to follow along my training, check that out. We also have three, four, five day programs range from beginner to advanced. Power building, bodybuilding style training, Bench only, squat only. You also get added to our private Discord where you can ask questions, get form checks to talk about training. If you guys are using it, don't forget to tag myself and Proven Strength on Instagram. Go ahead, check that out. Link for that is in the description below. So the first squat and bench workout that you guys saw, part of prep was kind of a week zero bench and squat day. Officially, we started the prep on that Monday after, but uh, I was coming off of deload. was feeling pretty good. Decided to kind of take an extra day to hit the heavy squat squat bench singles. Worked up to 325 kilos on the squat, 716 pounds, and then on the bench we did 230 kilos, 507 pounds. Today, two weeks later, we're already up to 340 kilos, 749 pounds, 240 kilos, 529 pounds, and they both felt pretty, pretty solid, especially the bench, the bench moved very smooth. I was really happy with that. The squat, the weight felt pretty good. My back's been feeling super tight. On the walkout, I kind of took a little bit too big of a step, and then my right foot just ended up being a little bit behind my left foot. I tried to adjust it, but it just felt like my foot was kind of glued to the floor. That's happened before. It felt like if I tried to adjust it and get it, get them in line, it would have just wasted a little bit too much energy. So I just decided to just kind of send it with that foot position. I think that's what kind of caused a little bit of the shift about halfway up. Felt really good coming out of the hole and then just kind of, because that left foot was a little bit forward, it just didn't want to kind of transition to that second half of the squat. So I had to just like shift a little bit to that side just to kind of put it in a little better position. Once, once the weight was shifted over that way, it finished up pretty well. Other than that, I was happy with how squats moved. Drop downs, I only did one set of the drop downs. Um, I was feeling pretty sore at that point. Joints have been feeling pretty achy overall, but um, I think once I hit around eight weeks out, I'll start taking TB500. That usually kind of clears up like a lot of the inflammation in the joints. And then it almost feels like with that, like the strength is there, but I'm almost like holding back a little bit just because of protecting the joints and then once those kind of heal up I'm almost it feels like I can like really push into the bar and not really worry or not feel soreness and it just ends up moving a lot better looking forward to that I don't want to start taking it too early in the prep where I'm almost like relying on it that's just something that I usually do with my peptides bench yeah like I said it moved quite well been Again, having a little bit of soreness with the shoulders. Some days are better than others. Today wasn't too bad, especially um, the top set. The last warm up was a little bit sore, but like compared to Thursday, Thursday I did a early, earlier workout. Didn't really eat too much beforehand. It was uh, Fourth of July, so I had plans later in the day. Came in, got an early session in. Didn't have as much time, so didn't do as properly of a warm up, and I could definitely feel it. My shoulders were achy. I did a set of four on bench with like 451, 205 kilos. It moved, but it definitely didn't feel the best. Whereas today, after the five, after the 205, the 451 for four, I was like, man, I don't know if 529 is starting to sound pretty heavy. Whereas today, last warm up, I took 485, and that felt, again, my shoulders were a little sore, but it actually moved very well, much better than I thought I was going to with that. 529 weights that I've hit at 12 weeks out from me. I think the 14 week prep is going to translate very well. At least so far it's looking like that. We drop down to the 385, 175 kilos for the long pause. Sets of four. 
those are feeling pretty good and then finish up with close grip. Yeah, these first two weeks of training have been, strength is there, just, um, just feeling a little extra tight and sore right now. I think I just have to get into to see my deep tissue work guy a little bit more often and then kind of get a lot of that cleared up. Once that is taken care of, I feel like the strength is going to really shine after this prep. We have nine or 10 pretty heavy squat and bench days left. The goal is to make all of those move as well as today and just slowly kind of build on, on top of everything. We are, like we said, we're still 12 weeks out and we have a very strong base. 749 is probably one of the best squats that I've been at at this point as well. So squat and bench, really good spot. We're gonna do a deadlift on Monday. We hit the 830 on the axle bar last Monday. It should be, um, I think that'll translate pretty well to the deadlift bar. It's kind of hard to tell where that one's at right now, but 8.30 on the X bar is a pretty pretty big PR. I mean, I've never really tested a one or a max on it, but um, yeah, if I could pull 8.30 on the X bar, I'd feel good about pulling around 400 kilos on Monday, maybe like 8.70, and that puts me right back on track for deadlift with where I want to be. Yeah, everything's so far coming together very well. Um, I'm really liking this program diet and everything's kind of locked in. With that said, we're gonna wrap it up there. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, check out Proven Strength app, and we'll catch you in the next video.